Hello everyone. My name is Do Hyun Ah, the second author of this paper. This is joint work in my colleague Min Gi Jo, Ho Yong Jin, and advisor Tae Kyung Kwon from Yonsei University. We understand the importance of finding and fixing bugs that occur in the kernel. Unlike bugs in the user program, a kernel bug can cause the entire system to panic. Moreover, kernel vulnerabilities are being exploited in the wild and used for distributing malicious code. To effectively find these bugs, kernel fuzzers like SysColor are widely used with kernel address sanitizer or Kasan. According to SysBot, Kasan detected 26% of bugs discovered by SysColor, which shows how effective Kasan is at detecting kernel bugs. Kazan is an essential tool for kernel fudging nowadays. So what is Kazan? We need to detect bugs that do not cause kernel panic, and Kazan is used for this purpose. Kazan is a source code-based dynamic memory error detector that detects non-crashing bugs, such as use-after-free and out-of-bound access through region-based detection. It assists a lot of the fudger when detecting such bugs. Unfortunately, Kazan this source code instrumentation, so cannot be applied to binary-only kernels or drivers. Despite the need for Kazan, applying it in Coach OS is challenging because kernels like Windows and Mac OS are provided in binary form, making, making it hard to apply Kazan. Therefore, we need a way to apply Kazan at the binary kernel level. There are two methods of binary instrumentation, static and dynamic. Static instrumentation implements Kazan through binary rewriting. It can perform almost close to native execution. Unfortunately, guaranteeing soundness is challenging, which makes it hard to apply to kernels. The other option to implement Kazan at the binary level is dynamic instrumentation. Previous researches implement Kazan by emulating the kernel or hooking the page port handler. These methods are easy to implement and can be applied to Coach OS, but their extremely high overhead makes them difficult to use in practice. To overcome these challenges, we deep dive into kernel fudging to observe interesting nature of it. The intriguing point is that a significant number of processes within the kernel are unrelated to the fudger. Over a week of intensive kernel fuzzing, we pinpointed the specific processes that triggered kernel bug. Remarkably, out of 22 bugs found by CASA, 20 were caused by a fudger processor. In the figure, process one is a child of fudger. Two and three are kernel objects that are not related to fudging. CASA sanitizes the entire memory region even if that is unrelated to fuzzing. This occurs huge instrumentation overhead. From our observation, we gain two insights. First, sanitizing entire kernel memory region is not efficient. Second, the fuzzer process triggers most crashes. So what about sanitizing only process one, the child of fuzzer? Thus, we propose a concept of selective sanitization, focusing solely on memory, allo memory allocated by the fudger process. It sanitizes only the memory we are interested in through page port based instrumentation. This can be easily applied to Coach OS with minimal dynamic instrumentation overhead. On top of this idea, we designed Bokasan, the binary only kernel address sanitizer. I want to introduce the flow of typical kernel fuzzing. In the beginning, the fuzzing manager runs the VM with the target OS to start fuzzing. And then, a fuzzer is executed on the target machine, spawning a worker that executes random system calls. When a system tanker runs and hit an OB or UAF bug, Kazan let the fuzzer know. To catch these issues, Kazan inspects all memory actions in the kernel even those not linked to the fudger. Similarly, Bokasan also assists kernel fudging in this context, but without target kernel source code. 
which means it can be applied in the coach OS. Focus on hook into key functions, including the page port handler and memory related functions. It then checks specific memory accesses. Focus on has its memory job, so further puts memory object there. Any activity in this job get checked by Kupokasan. We'll see how this works on the next slide. First, Focus-on is loaded as a kernel module during kernel boot, and it hooked the page port handler and memory-related function when it loaded. Afterwards, the forger is executed and spawns a worker. The worker will execute the random system calls made by forger. When the worker is spawned, it informs its PID to Bokasan. Bokasan records the worker's PID in its PID list. Then, the worker executes random system calls. Let's assume the executed system call asks for a memory allocation. Since Bokasan has hooked the memory function, it detects the allocation request right away. It checks whether the process which requests memory allocation is on the PID list. If it is, it places memory in Bokasan's allocation area without access permission. If not, it proceeds with the regular memory allocation. The, the worker runs the system call that tries to access the previously allocated object. This object is allocated in Bokasan's memory region. The system call access the, the object in the sanitizer area. There is no access permission, so triggers a page port. Remark that Bokasan has hooked the page port handler. The Bokasan's handler is executed. Bokasan checks if the address where the page port occurred is in the sanitized region. If yes, it sanitizes the memory access. Other first, the OS handler deals with them. If the sanitization result shows invalid memory access, it makes a bug report and triggers a panic to alert the fudger. Otherwise, Bokasan temporarily makes the memory accessible and single step the instruction. After the single step, it blocks access to the address again. We conducted several experiments to evaluate Bokasan. The experiments uh, were performed on the, on the following environment. First, we compared Bokasan with Kasan to see how Bokasan successfully detects UAF and OOB bugs. We used two data sets both found by Janus and Sis Begas. This experiment results show both Kassan can detect bugs as Kassan detects. Let's see how much overhead is incurred by both Kassan. Does it acceptable for corner fudging? To figure it out, we compared both Kassan with Kassan in 24 hours fudging. We also compared Kassan running on an emulator to see how much overhead is incurred by the full emulation method. Bokasan executed 81% more Cisco's and found 12% more basic blocks than the emulated based Kasan. This shows Bokasan's efficiency in kernel fudging. In a 24 hour fudging task, selective sanitization let us execute 4.3 times more system calls and find 32.8% more basic blocks. This shows the, the effectiveness of selective sanitization. In the previous experiment, we used color, which compiles a kernel source to collect code coverage information. One question you might wonder is, can Bokasan be applied in kernel forging without any source code information? To answer this, you, we use KAFL, a forger for binary only kernel forging, that uses hardware features to collect code coverage. We use a vulnerable kernel driver provided by KAFL, the experiment. Uh, this driver contains two NERD reference bugs and one UAF bug. KAFL generates input to trigger these bugs. We repeated the experiment 20 times on each OS. For bug one and two, the bug is detected even without Bokasan. For bug three, only Bokasan detected all trials on both OSs. Without Bokasan, only three trials detected on UAF 
uh, the UAF on Ubuntu. Notably, on Windows, all attempts fail to detect. In conclusion, we propose Boca-san, the first practical binary-only kernel address sanitizer for kernel fuzzing. Boca-san reduces huge overhead incurred by binary instrumentation with novel selective sanitization approach. Boca-san can be applied even on the coach OS and successfully detect bugs. We expect Bokasan to be helpful in future research on kernel bug detection and fuzzing. Thank you for listening to the presentation. Any questions or welcome?